This video is about five minutes long and discusses how you share Google Docs in different ways. Now the nice thing about Google Docs is there's multiple ways to share a document. Uh, first of all, you can, from your default Google Docs view, you can right click on the document, either with a right click on a PC or two fingers on the touchpad on a Mac or control click on a Mac and use the drop down to go to share. From that share menu, um, you can share directly with other individuals or groups. Now the trick is that's not called um, emailing it as attachment. You can also open up and share directly from the document itself. Uh, from your document view in the top right you'll see share. There's share and there are a couple other options. Again, we're not emailing this as an attachment but we're sharing it so that when people open up their Google Docs account they see the same document or they can edit the same document. So on this I click on share and I can see a list of anybody that it's already shared with. This document has a bunch of people that can view it. So from here I can click in the box that says add people and I can search by name or by email and add one at a time. I can change whether they can view or edit and I can also change some advanced preferences as far as whether they can in turn share this with other people. The nice thing here becomes you can really tailor who can view and who can't view your documents. Um, from this view as well you can also choose from different groups like right now I could share with one person or if I have a group of people I could jump into my choose from contacts. These are contacts that I created from my contact section of my Google account or also ones that I created and shared. So from here in Cohasset I can again search one at a time or I can use my drop down to my groups that I've created. And from here I can one click with my entire staff and I can either do one at a time again or I can click where it says all and in the bottom right corner I can say done or I can save it as a new group. Um, again you can uncheck certain people but right now if I were to click done it would have everybody in the box. Um, here I'm going to share it with just one person which would be somebody that doesn't currently have access to it. I'm going to switch it so that she can only view the calendar and can't make changes and you can either add a message or not. If you don't add a message the person does get an email because that box is checked and they get just a generic message that they have access to it. In this screen though you can tailor the message that people see when they get it. You don't have a copy of this in your email so you don't have a catalog of what you wrote in the screen but you can send yourself a copy if you want to know what you sent and who you sent it to. So I can hit share and save and I'll go. In this case I'll hit cancel because I, I don't want to share that calendar rate or that document I'm sorry right now. So again when you either share and save or you cancel you go back to your main screen and you can see who, ha who has access and you can change who has access at any time. So I can go through this list and I can change who can edit, who can view, and who is the owner. Owners by default have more um, rights than everyone else. Another way which can actually be quite a bit more beneficial for those that have um, documents or people that they want to share over and over is what's called a Google collection. A collection is basically to me what a folder is. But in this screen I'll show you how when you have a folder you can share that folder or that collection with people at once. So in essence I've got this folder called Campus and I'm going to create one now called Cohasset Teachers. I'd use that drop down carrot again for create new. Anything I put in that folder I can share for people to be able to view or edit. So if I had information that I was going to share quite often, and again the same as a document, you can either right click or use the drop down caret to go to share. If I share this collection with any individuals or groups the same way I share in any other screen, that group of people, and, and this I'm going to pick Cohasset, maybe I'll do classroom teachers since it's a Cohasset teachers folder. So I know that all of my teachers, I'm going to share this instead of edit, can view. So any document that I drop into this collection will show up in a Cohasset teachers Google Docs account. And again, it can be edit or it can be view. And you can add a personal message just like you did all the other screens. You can notify or not notify. In this one, I'm going to not notify them because what I'd like it to do is just appear in the corner so that more for reference materials and this warns me that if you skip it they're not necessarily going to know that they have it but this this won't be an issue in my um, case so then it pops back again to who you shared it with and you can double check but now I have a folder called Cohasset Teachers that I'm going to rename I'm going to rename it so that when it shows up in their Google Docs account they know that it's items from myself so classroom teachers items from Sean and I renamed it just like I shared it from that drop down corner 
And there's some other options too that I don't talk about now, but that's just a way to rename it. But now what happens is I have this folder that I've shared with classroom teachers in Cohasset. When I um, drop any, drag or drop any item in there or s say to tell it to go there, now it appears in that folder. So right now I'm dragging and dropping that schedule in there and to the right now I see a tag that says that schedule is in a classroom teacher's collection called, or classroom teacher's items from Sean. Anything else I drop in there will automatically share with those people. So every time I have stuff for teachers, I don't have to go in and reshare it one at a time. I know that by putting it in that folder, they have access to view that folder, and now they have access to view that document, which, like I said, comes in real handy and makes it real easy to um, share with my staff. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, email me. Or call my cell phone. My email is smartinson at isd318.org or my cell phone is 259-3129. Again, 259-3129. Sometimes easier to just drop a text. Thank you.